My name is Kayla Jarvanen and I am a cook here at the Culinary Vegetable Institute at the Chef's Garden in Milan, Ohio. Today I have Andrea here with me and we are going to talk about how you can take some of the vegetables in your home delivery boxes and roast them as part of your meal. Hi, thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you for coming on. So what are we doing here today? What do we have? Um, we've got, today we've got an assortment of vegetables. We have some carrots, um, beets, radishes, celery root, um, but honestly you can take whatever vegetables you have in your vegetable box and, um, and roast those. So what's the first step, Kayla? First step, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 425 with convection if you have it. Um, then you're going to want to gather any necessary materials and the vegetables that you're going to be roasting. Okay, so what tools do we need? First off, you're gonna to wanna to wash your vegetables. So we typically will use a green kitchen scrubby. You can use a sponge, a towel, whatever you have available to you. You can also use a um, vegetable brush um, to clean your vegetables. Make sure you get off any dirt that might be on there. After your vegetables are washed, you're gonna to wanna to dry them off. And then um, you're going to need a peeler to peel any vegetables that you might want peeled before you roast them, um, as well as a paring knife to remove any woody tops. Um, after that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a bowl um, to toss your vegetables in, as well as some salt and a neutral oil um, to dress them with. Okay, what kind of oils would you suggest using? Um, you can use a vegetable oil, canola oil blend that you, that you might have in your cupboard. Um, you can also use safflower oil, sunflower oil, you know, a refined coconut or um, avocado oil. Okay. Any of those will work well. There are a lot of possibilities well. that work there. Yes, there are a lot of options. Olive oil, though. No, we don't recommend that you use olive oil or any like highly aromatic oil because it would just be a waste in this application. Okay, good to know. Can you tell me about the different pans you have and the different baking surfaces on them? Absolutely. So typically we use nonstick silicone baking mats to roast our vegetables. These are oven safe up to around 480 degrees. You can also use um, tin foil or parchment as well um, if you don't have a silicone baking mat. Um, you basically just don't want the vegetables sticking to the pan. Okay, good. I like easy cleanup. Absolutely. So sometimes it's helpful, helpful to pre-plate a portion um, to get an idea um, how many vegetables you're going to need um, to cook so that you don't have a bunch of leftovers. Um, I personally enjoy having leftovers, um, but some people don't like to have a surplus of roasted vegetables in their fridge. That's know. a good idea. I, I like leftovers too, but I know my kids aren't big fans, right. so uh, depending on how many portions you want. Great exactly, idea. exactly. Um, so once you have kind of, you know, a portion size down, um, and maybe you wanna, you know, put some beet in there, some celery root as well, um, after you peel and wash those items, you can line up um, on a tray the amount of portions that you need based off of this, um, and, you know, go from there. So we have carrots, a different bunch of different sizes, and this white thing is? Parsnip. Okay. Yep. Um, again, we have celery root and we have beets. Um, you can use any of the vegetables that are in your vegetable box. Do you think this is a good serving size for one person? Yes, yep, I, I, would, I would probably throw some beet in there. Okay. Um, you know, again, maybe some celery root, but that's an appropriate serving size depending on what else you're serving and uh, you know, how hungry you are. Okay, so now we have everything washed up and you hit, cut everything up as well. What's the next step? Now that everything is um, washed and cut, we're going to put these in a bowl and toss them with some oil. You want to make sure that you get even coverage with the oil. And it's you okay don't want to do much. it like this with your fingers? Yep. And then I recommend seasoning now. Um, and I kind of do it by sight, you know, but um, you can taste the vegetables as well so you know how much seasoning is on there. Just take a bite? Just take a bite. Mmm. Very Delicious, good. yeah. Delicious. Now that they're oiled and seasoned, we can spread them out on a baking sheet here. You wanna make sure that they're spread out evenly so that um, the airflow in the oven can evenly distribute among them and cook okay. them So you wanna properly. kind of space them out as much yep, as possible? Yeah, space them out as much as possible. And from here, we're ready to put them in the oven and roast them. One more question. Yeah. Any other seasonings that would be all right to put on them? Yeah, it's personal preference. So you can use whatever seasonings um, you wanna use. You know, if you have um, spices in your cabinet, black pepper, um, I'm just using salt today to keep it simple because the vegetables are delicious on their own. Um, I would recommend that any delicate herbs um, that you have, you wait till the end.
Wow, do those look good. How long were they in for? Um, we cooked those for about 20 minutes. Um, that'll vary slightly depending on your oven, but that's a good baseline to follow. Okay. Um, so we are going to plate this next. And is there anything else that we can do at home to help us know that that amount of time is good? Um, yeah, I would recommend taking a fork and uh, cooking them until they're fork tender. I like mine with a little bit of crunch, um, but you don't want them super soft. Okay. And you're getting a nice variety there, I can see. Yep. Now this creamy spoonfuls that you put on the plate there, what's in this? So that's, um, that's a mixture, it's cultured cream. Um, it's a mixture of sour cream and yogurt um, with some fresh herbs chopped up in there as well. Um, we're using micro thyme and celery, um, which is what we're going to use to garnish with today also. But you can use any of the herbs that come with your okay. home delivery box. Okay. What a pretty portion on the plate there. Okay. Can I help you do this family style Absolutely, platter? yeah, if you okay. wanna go down with the cultured cream. Wow, that smells really good too. I can smell the cultured smell cream and the herbs. All right, so we have some beautiful roasted vegetables here. Yeah, yep, and you know, here you can, you, you can use more vegetables, you know, if the veg is going to be, you know, the main part of your dish, but there's room here, you know, for a piece of protein, um, you know, another side, you know, okay. whatever. Maybe a salad you want to do exactly. wanted to do a salad exactly. with the vegetables. Yep, absolutely. Okay, all right, here you go. Thank you. Let's eat. Take the first bite. Ooh, I gotta get some of Gotta get some of the sauce, yep. Yes. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. It's delicious. Very, very good. Thank you so much for having me and teaching me how to make this beautiful side dish. Absolutely. Happy that you could be here with us today.